guys, Mixed Media Girl here, back with Mr. MMG again. <laughs> so we have a really fun project for you today. We are going to acrylic pour on these little mason jars. We have them just sitting on top of these cups so that we can move them afterwards. We do have a canvas under here to catch the runoff. And then once the jars are dry, uh, we're going to go ahead and put some candles in them. Yes, so this will be a two-part project. Mm -hmm. And we are using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint and um, my Lowly Vefe silicone bowls. I have one here that already has a little bit of paint in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with that and add more to it. And we are using white, blue, turquoise, orange, and gold. Yeah. So, um, same thing, fill this up almost all the way up. Okay. And that's so we can get the canvas covered. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tree ring pour these over our jars. Now the point was not to put enough in these um, bowls to cover the jar because they're tiny jars, but we need enough to cover the canvas. So we put extra. That's right. Oop, I'm going to bring down for the side view. Nice. I like it. Now these are textured glasses, which is really interesting. Yeah. So um, that's going to give a little bit of a different pattern. Look at the canvas. I know, right? So cool. I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to let these drip for just a few minutes. And once they have slowed down on the dripping, we will be back and we'll do the canvas. Okay, so at this point, we carefully pick up your cup. Uh, so From the plastic part, Yeah, obviously. just the plastic cup, just carefully. If you touch the bottom of your jar, it's definitely not the end of the world because it's going to keep dripping Maybe. down. Do you need help? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> I did it. Sorry. <laughs> Try not to put your finger in the paint. Well, look at the design, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I know, right? That's kind of crazy watching that happen. It's not making that sound you are. Nuh-uh. <laughs> In my head, it is. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt. It is kind of trippy, though. It is. I love it. Let's see how our final outcome looks. Now, part of the key is to get I'm these to, the wheel. to go together. Yeah. So then it doesn't look like two separate parts of the painting. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can definitely see where the two came together, but they look really, like, blended. It doesn't look like two separate paintings at all, I don't think. Yeah, I think you had a lot more white, and I had a lot more black. It seems like, but it's kind of working out. Yeah. All right, almost there. And the orange highlighting definitely came out like highlightish, which is great. Yeah. It's accenting nicely. Actually, that and the, what was that, a gold or bronze? Gold. They're mixing well together. Yeah. Ooh. Just bring it back a little bit more this way. This is really interesting. Yeah, right? Okay, I think I'm happy with that. What do you think? I'm with you. Okay. All right. Now this paint does tend to hold air bubbles. I am going to torch it real quick just to get rid of the air bubbles. And then we'll do a, you know what, then we're going to let it, let it go for now. And we're going to come back when it's dry and we're going to do the candles. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So quick torch just to get rid of those air bubbles. It doesn't really cause cells or anything else in this particular paint. There we have it, and we will be back. All right, guys, we're back. This is our painting, totally dry. It is beautiful. I actually really like it. And once again, this paint dries super glossy. So it hasn't been sealed yet or anything. I would still seal it, I think, just for durability. 
Here are our candles. I actually don't remember which one's yours. I think this is yours. Yeah, that goes with that half. Is this your half or my half? I think that's your half. Oh, okay, I'm backwards. Yep. So this is mine, and this is Johnny's. Now, we did make a little mistake in that um, the paint kind of pooled on the bottom, and we didn't think about that, and we didn't pour it off. So there's a little bit of cracking, but that's okay. They're really cool. And I am not going to worry about these. These do not seem like they're going to flake off at all. I think just because of the type of paint that it is, I feel really confident that that's going to last on there for a long time. And I love how they came out around the um, the shapes. Yeah, those look really cool. Yours is cooler than mine. It happens. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make these into candles. Yay! So we're going to go melt up some wax. Um, I usually just, um, I have friends that have given me candles that are like half used and I just melt them all together. So I'm not really concerned with color or anything. We're just going to put some wicks in there and, uh, dump the wax in and yeah. So we're going to go melt it. We'll be back. All right. We've got our wax. Um, so like I said, I just, I have friends and stuff just give me old candles that they're just going to throw away and I just melt them down. So I've actually been using this same batch of wax practically for like, I don't know, five, five or six years. And I just make little candles with it. So it's not any particular scent or color. All right. Do you think you can hold that there for a minute? Sure. Okay. I'll go ahead and do this one. Still in the camera. Good. We're just putting these little wicks in here. Uh oh. I may need to <laughs> melt some more. Okay, well, there's that. All right, anyways. So I'm gonna melt some more, put some more in here, and then we will be back when these are all, they're, when they've solidified again, and we'll show you the final product. All right, guys, we're back. It's all dry. There we go. Super cool. Um, I did, by the way, find my <laughs> wick holder thing. I forgot I even had it. But so in the future, it'll be easier. But here's uh, the candles we made. If you don't like, if this isn't a candle making video, but if you don't like the dimple there, you can add a little more wax. But I am super happy with how these came out. These jars also have lids. I'm not sure about using the lids because it might mess up the paint around here. But if you wanted to, actually, we could just paint up to here and then maybe put some ribbon. You know, there's a lot of things you could do. The point is, is it's just a really cute, simple, easy project making some acrylic pour jar candles. Hope you guys liked it. Yeah. Um, let us know what you think of this. We're having a lot of fun doing projects together. Heck yeah. So lots more fun stuff's coming. Mm -hmm. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.